hello friends today in this tutorial i will be telling you that the difference between the on focus and all blur event inside javascript so basically these events are basically used for uh, input fields inside form elements so let me show you a very basic example of these so we will have a simple form here and inside this we will have two input fields out there first is for email here we will have a simple input field here and here you will enter your email address so we will simply in say inside the placeholder that enter email here and if you now open with live server basically you will see there will be a simple input field out there here you can enter your email address so right here guys after this we will simply show a simple message error message so if any sort of error take place whenever you enter the invalid email address so this will take place so we will give in an id here of email here so basically the thing is that guys on focus and on blur so there is no direct attribute that you can attach so there is an attribute called as on click that you can attach whenever you want to uh, attach a event whenever the button is clicked so there is no uh, direct attribute which is focus attribute so we need to attach it using custom javascript so we will write this custom javascript here and first of all we will get the input here so we will have given the id here you can see that we have given the id of email so after getting this reference guys we can attach the event here so we will simply uh, attach this event like this input and there is an on blur event guys so basically on blur this is the name of the event here and basically here you can write your function here of what code it should execute whenever the on blur executes so i can simply also make a alert statement uh, you have left the field so basically blur simply means that you have uh, left the input field so let's suppose i go into the info input field i focus into it and now if i go outside it if i click outside this uh, input element this event will fire so you will see that you have left the field so this is meant by blur guys so blur is something whenever you have focused something here inside input field and you are blurring you are going away from it then it will automatically fire so based upon that the latter one which is called as on focus you can see that on focus is just the reverse of it basically whenever you focus or go inside anything this will you can just put a alert statement you have entered in the input field sorry email field so what will happen now basically and if you now enter it you will see you have entered the input field so this will again fire here so we need to so you are getting the concept here so basically this uh, whenever we enter the field here this focus event will fire whenever we left it this event will fire so now what we can do some fun little things guys so basically what we can do is that uh, let me just refresh it so let's suppose i go into this input email field here i need to change the background color so what i can do is that we can simply say here input dot style dot uh, background color so i need to change the background color to let's suppose uh, red so now if i what i will see as i go outside it you will see the background color will change to red color and now i need to when i go inside it i need to change to a different color so what i can do is that i can simply say here input dot style dot background color and here we can change to a different color let's suppose yellow so what will it will have here so if i go inside it yellow will be there when i go outside you will see so these events are firing in and basically it is changing the background color here so you can just change any property of your choice you can also change let's suppose the border color as well it totally depends upon you how you need to do it you can see that so you can see it has added this back uh, border color red background border color here whenever we go outside here 
blur event is fired so in this way you can just uh, style any css properties inside these events and let's suppose we take a form validation example guys so inside this whenever you don't enter uh, a valid email address so let's suppose inside on blur we will have a simple in input condition oh, sorry if condition here and we will get the value input dot value and here we will simply invoke this method which is includes and here we will simply check basically if the at the rate symbol is not present inside the email address then we will simply uh, add a simple class which is uh, which is invalid class so we can style this class guys so we will simply inside our css we will simply have this class of invalid and inside this we will make the border color to be red like this so we are attaching this class dynamically here guys you can see that in javascript so now what will happen here if you don't include the add the red symbol inside your email address if i don't include this symbol so this is an invalid email address so if i go outside this blur event will fire and you will see the it is saying that it is invalid so because the uh, this event is fired here so it has included this uh, dynamic class here we have defined here you will see so the border color has become red here so you can see that and also let's suppose if you want to display an error message you can even say that which is uh, we can simply get the reference of this error we have given the id so we can simply say document dot get element by id so we have given this id of error so we can simply attach this so here we can simply manipulate the inner html here so inner html so we can say you have entered invalid email so now what will happen if i don't enter you have entered invalid email so then also you can see if i don't include you can see that so let's suppose if i uh, just entered a valid email address so in that case no error will take place you will see nothing will be there and in the else scenario we can simply say if it contains the uh, at the rate symbol we will simply say you have entered valid email like this so now what will happen guys basically if i entered you have entered valid email so you can see that if i just change this you have entered invalid email so you can see how easy it is to attach this on blur event for form validation and let's suppose we come to the on focus here so on focus we will again check for the invalid class here guys so let's suppose what we need to do is that basically we have this invalid class entered so now when we focus inside this we need to remove these message we need to remove the border color so how we can perform this it's very easy how we can do this it's very easy inside this on focus you will again check this dot class list and here we will simply check if the class is there we have this contains method and we will check for this class if the class is there then we need to remove this class so basically here we are checking that if this class is attached to this input field here where we attach this you will see input dot class list dot add so here we are just checking it if it returns true here then we simply need to remove that uh, remove the class and the, also the error message so we will simply that this dot class list and there is a method called as remove and here we will remove this invalid class and also we will remove the error message as well so inner html will be equal to nothing so now what will happen guys you will see that as i don't enter this you will see you have entered invalid email but when i go inside this whenever i get focus in inside this this error message will go and also the border color class will also go so that way you will see that it is perfectly aligning here you will see that so in this is the difference between on focus guys and on blur event handlers inside javascript and uh, let's suppose if you want to uh, let me take a uh, second example here basically uh, let's suppose if you haven't entered uh, you can see if you entered an invalid email address 
and if you want to directly focus this input field there is a method where we can do that so inside this there is a method focus so it if you have haven't entered a valid email address it will directly focus inside this input field it will not let you go outside so what will meant by this if i don't enter if i entered invalid email address this will go i don't i cannot click outside this will be again focused here you will see i cannot go outside until you have entered you know valid email address you can't go outside you will see i need to enter a valid email address now and now if I go outside, I can go outside. You will see that. So this is meant by this focus method, guys. With the help of this method, you can directly focus the input field here. Focus, you will see. And I think there is also an attribute called as on focus. With the help of this, let's suppose I declared a function here. Check. And if I just remove this line here. I think this also does the same thing. Uh, we can just make this function function check and uh, just remove this. So we have made this function here. So basically we have attached this attribute directly here for on focus. So what will happen here? Let me see. You will see. Uh, this is uh this dot class dot contains invalid uh let me say alert uh hi so let me just cross check if it is working or not you will see hi it is working perfectly so if you want to directly attach this so basically guys event there is also an attribute here on focus you can directly do that as well so also i think there is on blur also so you can also do that so if you want to do it directly you can attach this uh, event as well so on blur and on focus so this is also available so i think on blur is not working but on focus you can attach directly as an attribute as well so this is the difference between guys on blur and on focus event handlers inside javascript for form validation i have shown you a complete example so thank you very much please hit that like button subscribe the channel as well